Nature in Words, Literary Iceland. Iceland is experiencing a book boom. This island nation of just over 300,000 people has more writers, more books published, and more books read per capita than anywhere else in the world. It is hard to avoid writers in Reykjavik. There is a phrase in Icelandic, literally meaning that everyone has a book in their stomach. One in ten Icelanders will publish one. They write all kinds of books. Fantasy, poetry, children's books, literary and erotic fiction. But the biggest boom is in crime writing. Writers are respected. They live well, and some even get paid to do it. Iceland is also a land of readers. Today, every household gets a book catalog in the mail. They pour over it like a furniture catalog. Everyone receives books as Christmas presents, and hairdressers have replaced celebrity gossip magazines with books. Literature has become a driver of tourism. Special saga tours point out story plaques on public buildings. Public benches have barcodes, so you can listen to a story on your smartphone as you sit. Each geyser and waterfall boasts a tale of ancient heroes and heroines attached to it. Tour guides stand up mid-tour to recite their own poetry. And your taxi driver's grandparents may well have written biographies. Reykjavik is home to the Icelandic Literature Center, a government-funded office whose aim is to raise awareness and promote the distribution of Icelandic literature, both in Iceland and abroad. Associations like the Iceland Writers Retreats organize full-day outings into the Icelandic countryside, led by contemporary Icelandic writers, and literary walking tours of Reykjavik, including a pilgrimage to the former home of Nobel Prize-winning author Haldur Laxness whose books are sold in petrol stations and tourist centers across the island. Not a few locals have even named their cats after laxness. So what has led to this phenomenal book boom? Iceland is a nation of storytellers. The frequent dark and cold are conducive to stories, whose telling offers an excellent way to pass the time. Thanks to the legacy of medieval sagas, Icelanders have always been surrounded by stories. What's more, after gaining independence from Denmark in 1944, literature helped define Icelandic identity. But most of all, it is Iceland's epic nature, with its black lava riverbeds, steaming, bubbling earth, towering volcanoes, and fairy tale streams, that offers the perfect setting for stories. It is no surprise that Iceland left Token entranced and that UNESCO chose Reykjavik as the city of literature. The glaciers may melt, but the stories in Iceland will continue to be told. <laughs>